So this is MX Linux. So this is the latest version that is released. So I already downloaded the ISO file and I created a boot of the USB drive. I'm going to be installing this in a desktop computer. So I'm going to choose the first option. So this is the welcome menu. This is about. So if you want to install a demo version, this is the username and password. I'm going to select install MX Linux. So you can change the keyboard settings here. This is the disk layout. I'm going to select the first option, regular install using the entire disk. I'll select format and use the entire disk. Okay, I'll click next. So on this page, I'm going to leave this as default. The clock, this is correct. I'm going to leave it as default. This is service settings. I'll click on view. So these are some of the common services to enable. And if you don't want any one of these services, you can uncheck it. I'll click OK. So I'm going to create an account. So I'll type in a root password. I'll click next. Okay, installation is complete. So I'm going to log in. So on this welcome menu, there's a user's manual, there's wiki, there's tools. These are some of the tools. So they are listed by category. So there's live, there's maintenance, there's setup, there's software, there's utilities. I'll open the tweak. So this is the panel settings here. And right now the panel is on the left. I moved it to the right. I'll leave it as default left. So there's team. And here I can choose a team set. This is compositor. This is display settings. This is config options. This is a super key settings. And this is other. This is panel settings. This is the appearance. These are the items on the panel, and you can move these up or down, for example, clock. So I'll click on the Applications menu. This is Favorites. This is Recently Used. This is All Applications. This is accessories.
This is development. This is games. Graphics. Internet. Multimedia. This is MX Tools. This is Office, and the default is LibreOffice. This is Settings. This is system. So I'll open the settings manager here. So I'll right click the desktop. I'll select desktop settings. So these are some of the wallpapers. This is menus. This is desktop icons. This is file and launcher icons. This is keyboard shortcuts. So I'll right click the desktop again. I can create a launcher. Create a URL link. So I'll right click the desktop, create a new folder. I'll right click the folder, select properties, and I have these options here. I can add emblems. I can configure the permissions. And I can also share this folder. So I'll open the package installer. And these are some of the packages. So I can install any one of these. So this desktop environment is XFCE.
So this is enabled repositories. This is MX test repositories. This is backports. Flat packs. I'll click on advance. So these are some of the settings. I'll open the terminal app. So I'll check the kernel version. I'll type unimr. So the kernel version is 6.14.2. So I'm going to see if htop is installed. I'll type htop. So htop is installed. So this was just a quick overview of MX Linux 23.6. So I want to thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.